Hey everybody on YouTube, I just wanted to make another video um, talking about the uh, mercury vapor and high pressure sodium lamps on the property here. Um, again, my property is uh, 14 acres and uh, I've been actually uh, installing all of these lights around the perimeter of the house, mainly because I just, living in the city all of my life um, and moving out in the country, I just don't like everything being so dark. Um, I actually come out at nighttime often and, uh, you know, bring the horses in, uh, go to the barn and the workshop and uh, do a few things there and, uh, you know, chop firewood and etc. And I need a lot of light. Um, I don't understand how some people in the country live out here with no lighting. I mean, there's a few people out here that have lights, but uh, some just don't have lights at all. Um, and I understand the energy savings, and maybe they're older people, which is what I've met around here. Usually old people don't need the lights because they just don't go outside, but I go out a lot. So the lights that you see in front of me are mercury vapor lamps. Um, there's actually two of them on that utility pole. Um, so I guess it's not a really fair comparison to compare two mercury vapors to one high-pressure sodium, but... Um, I just want to show you guys the power of mercury vapor. Um, I'm a little confused why mercury vapor was completely removed from the market. Um, I believe the American, excuse me, the American consumer should have the option, if they want to, to uh, purchase whatever lighting that they want. If they want T12 lights, then they should buy T12 lights. As long as they're paying the electric bill, what does it matter? Um, and. Uh, Mercury Vapor, obviously, as everybody knows, is one of the original, or it is the original HID light, uh, high-intensity discharge. And um, one of the attempts to replace, well, I guess the light that did replace uh, Mercury Vapor was um, high-pressure sodium, one light that everybody is familiar with. Um, most of us who are watching this, unless you're like 80 years old or 60 years old, Sorry for the 60-year-olds, but uh, most of us who who uh, grew up are familiar with high-pressure sodium. And uh, these lights are really nice as far as, you know, sleeping and or being able to sleep and uh, still lighting up, you know, the streets and the roads and so forth. However, the orange light just has a poor color uh, redemption. Um, it doesn't show colors. Um It'll light up an area really well, but um, have you ever walked in a parking lot with these orange high-pressure sodium lights and you still have a hard time seeing things? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, it's really cold out here. And the reason why is because of the orange light. Um, unfortunately, mercury vapor was replaced by that. And uh, mercury vapor lights uh, did have a uh, attempt, which was successful actually, as you can see over here to use uh, frosted bulbs. Um, the frosting is some kind of phosphorus uh, frosting. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, and the whole point for that was to use the uh, the UV light that was pretty much unusable um, and the blue-green light, which was kind of useless almost, uh, and convert it into a more reddish, pinkish light. Uh, and uh, that UV light that can, was converted was... Uh, combined with all the other color spectrums made a white light uh, as you can see over here it's pretty much all white so just to give you a color comparison you see the light in the back there that's one uh, mercury vapor lamp it's only 17 feet up so it's not as high up as the other one um, but being a clear bulb it's pretty much blue green and there's a lot of uh, light escaping from it that you can't see which is uv so that's why they frosted the bulbs to give a, a better uh, color spectrum. So um, the bulbs that mainly replaced these lights, even though it was high pressure sodium, was actually metal halide. Uh, metal halide. Um, the only problem with metal halide is the bulbs don't last as long as high pressure sodium and mercury vapor. So this is the reason why communities and cities and so forth did not adopt metal halide as much as they did high pressure sodium because high pressure sodium can last 20 to 30,000 hours and the bulbs will actually blink 
when they are uh, dying, they'll turn on and off. And the color spectrum actually changes too, from the orange that you see here to a more pinkish color, like a reddish pink. So if you're driving on the street and you see these high pressure sodium lights um, and they're like kind of a reddish pink and then you notice the other ones are kind of an orange color, like a whiter orange, that will tell you that the uh, reddish pink ones are actually um, the older bulbs that need to be replaced. So um, anyway, uh, the reason why they never used metal halide um, massively was because uh, they only lasted like nine or 10,000 hours, so they need to be replaced more often. So, but anyway, um, the main reason why I'm showing this video is because it snowed out here and you guys can see better. Um, not a hundred percent. Um, you can actually see my hand up in front right here. Um, and you see the orange on the hand mixing, mixing with the white. Um, but if I had the, these, uh, high pressure sodium lights off, you still can see out here. Um, everything below my hand, you know, below the video, for some reason, these videos just don't show the mercury vapor very well. I don't know why, but the snow helps. So I'm a good, uh, four or 500 feet away from that light. Look how far out this actually comes. I'll actually walk up here just to show you guys. You see the ground? Imagine this two times brighter. It's, it's actually, I can see everything. I can see the details. I can see the wrinkles in my hand. I can see everything. This is a little bit better. So I'm probably about three or 400 feet away from the light right now. Um, do you really think an LED light could go this far, especially an LED pole light that is uh, pointing down? Um, yes, this is 350 watts of mercury vapor. So I imagine if I had 350 watts of an LED, uh, it would probably be extremely bright. I'm not going to deny that. Um, I do have LED uh, spotlights on the house, the uh, GE ones, the 32 watts, and they're very, very bright. However, they're blinding bright. The problem with LED, do you see the blinding light on the camera right here? I'm putting my finger in the front of it. Do you see that? When you look at mercury vapor, in person, you don't really see it. The camera shows it better, but uh, you don't really see that glare. But LEDs, I have neighbors that are like 10 acres away from me, and they've actually complained about the LED lights. Can you believe that? The LED lights only put out about 3,000 lumens. Um, but the people 10 acres away, do you know how many thousands of feet that is, are actually complaining about the LED lights because they have this nasty glare. So can you imagine living right here where this house is on the right in the city and having an LED light, you know, right there and having that horrible glare that you're seeing right now? Um, can you imagine trying to sleep at nighttime with that? Um, yes, LED has its place. Yes, LED saves energy. Um, I'm not going to deny it. Uh, the LED lights are getting better, the chips are getting better, they're saving more energy. Um, but there's just something special about an HID lamp that cannot replace an LED light. Look at that. Would an LED light up the entire house? All of this property that you see, everything around here. All of this driveway, all of these cars, everything, including the trees, all these trees that you can see right here. I don't know if you can see them. Would an LED really do that? No. An LED would have a nice circle right here, maybe a tiny bit of splash right here, and that's about it. So, you guys who want to save energy, I mean, go for it. To be honest, all of these lights that I have on, there's more of them over here that you don't see. All these lights I have turned off right now so you can see them better. You know, they save me a lot of power, but um, it's just not worth it to have an LED light, in my opinion.